Hi, welcome to Looptopia, where we're creating our own utopian homestead. We are trying three different potato planting methods, and today I'm a little behind, but I'm doing the Ruth Stout with every potato we have left over. So, this method, if you don't know who Ruth Stout is, she was, uh, I think she died in the 70s, 1970s or something, but she was a lady that decided to get into gardening older. I think she was like 60 when she really got into gardening hardcore. And she decided she wanted to find a better way and just kind of mimic nature. And what she did is she made a really kind of simple, lazy way to garden where you just throw potatoes on the ground and then throw a good foot or two of straw over it. And that's it. The, the heavy, heavy mulch feeds the potatoes so you don't have to do much. So the way it's supposed to work is you're supposed to take hay or straw I think she used hay, and not necessarily straw, but I think she might have used hay. But anyway, you can use any kind of light grassy mulch like that, grass crippings, whatever. So what she did is you put it down for like a year ahead of time in a big pile. That kind of smothers the weeds and gets the soil ready and it decomposes into a good soil. Then you put, the next year you put everything in. We're out of time for that and I didn't have a chance to do that ahead. So what I'm doing is actually using dirt I already have. We're gonna mend it, put the potatoes on top, and we're using mounds and mounds of pine needle. So there's the pine needle that we've kind of raked up. And we're using pine needle. And there is some dead grass and hay in there from the property from last year's mowing. So it's pretty old and broke down, but it's nice and dry. And then I threw some sandy loam over so this is the garden we have where we're doing the wide rows. When I wheel hoed this, I threw all the chunks of grass and all that stuff over here. I flipped them upside down and let them dry in the sun for about a month. And so it's killed most all the rhizomes and everything else, the grass growing. So I'm using this clay pile just to give it, I put it on top of all that stuff, just kind of even it out, make it a little smoother and give it some loose soil. And then I'm going to use our compost uh, topsoil here and throw that on top. So that's what I'm doing now. And I'm probably going to amend it with a little fertilizer and some amazite. So let's see what happens here. So because we didn't start this a year ahead like Roost Out did, we had to amend and all that stuff I explained earlier. Uh, I put about an inch to two of composted soil on top and then amazite. Amazonite. No. Azomite. 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 I can never say it right. Azomite. The volcanic ash stuff. That's for minerals. And the fertilizer we use is the same one I use in all my videos. Uh, I, I can link it below. It's the uh, vegan. 211. I really like it. I put it on everything. So uh, now we're going to cover it with hay. Lots and lots of hay. Well, sorry, not hay. We're covering with pine needles. Lots and lots of pine needles. Okay. There's a little hay mixed in, you know, thing. But what, remember, pine needles are sometimes very acidic. And the thing about potatoes is they can actually handle acidic and sometimes they prefer it because if you go down to, you know, 5.5 and 5, it kills the bacteria that causes scab. So if you have problems with your scab, scabby potatoes, you can drop a bunch of pine needles in. One other thing about the pine needles I forgot to mention was if they're green, they're a lot more acidic. Once they get brown like this and mixed in with all this other hay and straw and whatever the heck's in there from the yard, uh, it goes up to normal pH. Okay, so here's what it looks like. We've got about six to eight inches of pine needles mixed with other stuff. And we've covered everything. Now we'll look for patches in the morning, but we did this in the evening because the temperature is starting to pick up and it's much better to plant it without the sun blasting on the open roots. We did this with sprouted russets and some gold, right? Yukon gold. The golds are on that end. I'll update you in a few months to see how this goes. We're going to leave it completely alone. I might water it in once and that's it. Also, I found the mix in case you guys are wondering. 
If you didn't know, there's vegan mix. If you don't want bone meal and guts all over your your <clears throat> your food, you can buy this stuff. I'll link it below. So here's what our roof stat looks like in the daytime. It's probably about 25 feet. I'm thinking about extending it all the way through here and maybe doing it with sweet potatoes. I've heard of people doing it with sweet potatoes. We'll see. Anyway, uh, we've got really winds coming soon and this hasn't been rained in. So I'm hoping the rains weigh this hay down tangle it up um, if that doesn't happen we're probably going to just put a bunch of sticks over it to hold it down for a few days until it gets clinging to itself so here's our three methods the bags the volcano rose and the roost out we'll see which one performs so far the roost out probably would have been the easiest to set up the rows are definitely intensive but they're working good every potato's popping every single one and I haven't had to really water and the bags are working fantastic here's an update on our water catchment we kind of got in a pinch because the rain came and we couldn't quite set it up the way I needed to so I actually made new logs and cut them shorter and we put little wedge logs in the front some in the back too if the logs didn't fit right but it worked really good everything's burnt so hopefully nothing set up shop here and they've got these connections but everything's a lot more level now and on key i think this is going to work really well we're going to get a big rain today so we'll find out also i put this tape dam here so when the water runs down the strap it hits this and comes out like in a little funnel so there you go Let's see if it works also we changed the net to a bungee and this helped a lot the net was draggy but i don't know why i didn't think the bungee until now so that that helped a lot Thanks for checking out our story about potatoes. The other thing uh, I wanted to say was we are trying to start a homestead down here in South Carolina. If you're interested in maybe talking with us, we are a vegan kind of more spiritual homestead. If that's your vibe, hit us up in the Telegram group. You'll find the description below. Also, if you want to see all of our unlisted videos, they're over at Odyssey, Brighteon, and uh, BitChute. YouTube doesn't let us put up anything that's not that's the slightest bit controversial. So mainly all you're going to see here on YouTube is like tutorials. Anyway, thank you. Love you. Hang in there.